Here at LGG, we're always looking to supply you with the best of the best for your CDH list. And today we've devised a list of our top five favorite, most underrated cards oh, yeah. for CDH, yeah. and we're really excited to share it with you today. And at number five, we have Mage's Contest. You wrote this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you're a wizard with real swagger, you run Mage's Contest. For one generic and double red instant speed, you and Target Spells Controller bid life. You start the bidding with a high bid of one. In turn order, each player may top the high bid. The bidding ends when the high bid stands. The highest bidder loses life equal to the high bid. If you win the bidding, counter that spell. When it comes to the life bid, always go 39, particularly if it's early game and you're targeting one of your opponent's commanders. Sure, it puts you in bolt territory, shock range. I mean, you're absolutely pingable, but no one at that table will ever question your integrity again. Really? Okay. And you've done this. All the time. And people respect you for it? <laughs> Maybe I should try it. Coming in at number four, we have Darksteel Garrison. For two generic artifact fortification, fortified land is indestructible. Whenever fortified land becomes tapped, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Fortify three. For a sticky artifact that lets you get in on that sweet artifact synergy while protecting your lands. Say so long to all those pesky strip mines and wastelands. Those are someone else's problem when you run Darksteel Garrison. And you use this one. Oh, yeah. I mean, it seems okay. You didn't even mention the plus one plus one business. There's that too. Sure, sure. Coming in at number three, we have Stormcrow. For one generic and a blue, one, two, creature bird flying. A creature card so powerful, the only way WotC could design an alternative card to this degenerate bird was to make it silver border. They say it's fear that stays the hand. Unfortunately for your opponents, crows don't have hands. Stormcrow makes for an excellent beater in Najila, particularly with Rune Stalactite, because you can never have enough warriors. Honestly, really cool seeing Najila's tech open up. Stormcrow, wow, you heard it here first. And at number two, one with nothing. You're really not pulling my leg here, no. right? People actually collectively like this card now. For one black, discard your hand. For that sick discard synergy, and to fill up your graveyard, nothing works quite like one with nothing. Truthfully, any deck that's in black should consider this just as much as they would a demonic tutor or ad nauseum. Any commander wants this, but we'll say your Tim Necrom list will definitely make best use of it. What with all the card draw. Is there an actual plan here? It's instant. What? It's instant. So? You can leverage it whenever. Okay. And coming in at number one, we have Battle of Wits. Blue doing what blue does best. For three generic and two teardrops enchantment, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 200 or more cards in your lib... Are you kidding me? We're done, we're done here. The video's a dump. You want it underrated? These are definitely underrated. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in to LGG. You don't have to like or sub to this one. Maybe Stormcrow, I'm sorry.